I have a Google form. And when I go to the responses tab, I can find the green spreadsheet icon. I'm going to create a spreadsheet to go with my Google form. This copies the responses from the form into the spreadsheet. Now, one of the things I want to do is just clean this up. It is uh, hard to read. So I'm going I'm to highlight this column and I'm going to make the font bigger and I want to turn on some word wrap here. I want to turn on some word wrap over here and I want to just take the paint can on this one and highlight that entire column. All right, cool. So now when I go back and I go to the eyeball, and what is your first name, last name, what class are you in, Red Riding Hood's head is head. Right, so I give my response and I submit it and come over to the form and what do you notice is that I don't have big font and I don't have yellow highlighting here and this is not word wrapped. How frustrating. All it takes is for one person to submit a Google form and all of my formatting isn't preserved. So what I want to do is use the tools menu, go to macros. I'm going to record the macro. And so in this case, I want to highlight this column. I want to make the font bigger. I want to highlight this whole thing and make it yellow. And I want to word wrap this column. And I'm going to click Save. And so this is word wrapping or whatever you want to name it. Okay, so that has recorded my macro. So let's go ahead and fill out the Google form again. I'm going to submit another response. What is my name? What class am I in? Who's the antagonist? And red and submit. And so let's go over here and you're like, Alice, it's still not big, it's still not highlighted yellow, it's still not word wrap. That's true, but if you come up here to the tools menu, go back to macros, you can find the macro that you made that says word wrapping or whatever you named it. And when I click it, oh, it's going to make you authorize it. I'm going to do it one more time because I had to authorize it and didn't do it because it wasn't authorized. So I'm going to do it again and see it sets it all up. So let's go ahead and fill out this form like a bunch of times. What class are you in? Copy that. Submit. Let's fill it out again. Class you in. I do have the questions shuffled. Let me do it one more time. And submit. And let's go look over here. I can see once again, no word wrapping, no yellow highlighting, no large font. But coming back up to the tools menu and going to macros, I'm going to choose word wrapping. And this time, ta-da, I already authorized it so I can do that as many times as I want. Do my formatting on my Google Form spreadsheet, the spreadsheet from the Google Form. Do it while recording a macro. That's the tools menu, macros, record macro, name your macro. And then every time you open it, go to word wrapping and you can do it again.